So tonight we're going to paint this large abstract seascape. So let's get started. Hi guys, I thought tonight I'd do a large abstract seascape. Uh, we're just going to use these four colours here. Mars Black, Prussian Blue, French Ultramarine and uh, Cobalt Turquoise Light. So I'm just going to wet all this page down here. We're going to make a, a nice pretty high horizon up here. Should be interesting. I'll wet all the way down here. Nice and wet with this nice wide hake brush. All the paints, paper, equipment will be in the description below. And if this painting turns out alright, then it'll be for sale on my website, scottswinson.com. Alright. Squeeze on a bit of this Mars Black. Oh wow, gooey stuff. It's pretty liquidy. Not great. A bit of French Ultra. And my favourite, a bit of Cobalt Turquoise Light. It's a beautiful colour. going to come in across here. Whoa. <clears throat> I think that Mars black.
So I'm just using this hake brush just to get a few colour here. Let's get a little bit more. Beautiful. There's a big puddle of water just here at the moment, which do some interesting things if I start tilting. I actually really quite like this. Uh, just gonna pick some hairs out. Sometimes when I'm filming these, I feel almost obliged to keep going and taking it further and further but as you guys have said quite a few times like that you've often thought that a painting is finished at a certain point in time and then I've just kept going and and I, I agree like when I watch the videos back at times I just think stop and I think this is one of these paintings and one of these moments where uh, I think I should stop, actually. It's very nice. Some of these beautiful movements are just lovely. And the only thing that I'd be thinking about is do I need to come back in and make a more solid line somewhere? But I don't think so, because this is pretty solid. I don't think I need to scrape, scrape, scrape back into white anywhere here or anything. And I do love these, this tur cobalt turquoise light, it's just a gorgeous colour and, and you do get that a lot in Australia, like down at Jarvis Bay, you get that beautiful colour. Just wondering if I should help this, just this puddle here move this way, which will make all of these little marks here change their orientation a bit. You guys might want to come back in a little bit. I'm just going to hold this for a fair while uh, until I feel like the movement is a lot less. So uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs> just going to come along just in this part just here and, and just lift out make it a little bit light there to just give the eye something to go towards so I'm going to do this with a hake brush hake brushes are less thirsty than a sable but it's such a big painting that if I try to do this with my size 12 round sable I don't think it would really cut it so we'll just see how we go doing this I made sure the brush was washed out, flicked out, but then I didn't, I didn't take all the water out of it, which I probably, I suppose I could have. Just gonna do a little bit more. So I've taken a fair bit of water out this time. There we go. Beautiful. The 
best off washing out the brush between every single pass like that. Otherwise you're just going to start and then to make the brush go into a into a chisel, you're taking all the most of the water out. There we go. I like that. Just gives the eye something to rest on. Nice. So this didn't didn't take very long, hey. Uh, thanks for joining me in this uh, large abstract seascape tonight. I, I really enjoy doing this type of painting because it doesn't take a lot of preparation. You've got the paint in the tubes, you put it on the thing, you wet the paper and away you go and you create something pretty large. You don't have to mix all your bowls up. It's, it's a lot of fun. So uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it at this angle for a bit. I know some things are trying to run down here and it'll make some of this move a bit more as it gradually dries, but I think this is, this is done. So when this painting is dried uh, and I'm happy with it, I'll, I'll end up signing it somewhere, maybe down here, maybe up here, maybe even, not sure where I'll sign this yet. So this will be up on my website in the next couple of days. So if you guys would like to know about future videos then press the subscribe button, press the bell button. And if you'd like some more help with your watercolor or just want to support me in producing these videos, then uh, head over to Patreon. Uh, the link is up here and in the description below. And I'd love to see you over there. It's a really cool thing. Uh, and we hang out and help each other and I do weekly videos on there that aren't on YouTube. So thanks guys. Thanks for joining me tonight and I'll see you next week. Good night.